How close to failure do you have to train? A new study looked at this by comparing two groups of trained individuals. One group trained very close to failure. They left at most one repetition in reserve. The other group did not train close to failure at all. They left four to six reps in reserve. At the end of the program, muscle growth and strength development were similar between groups. Importantly, total workloads were also similar. So the total amount of repetitions were similar between groups, no significant difference. Meaning that whether you train close to failure or not is not so important. It's about the total amount of volume that you accumulate. That's what's important. Also, this study debunks the idea that only the last five repetitions in the set are effective reps. Clearly, that's not the case because one of these groups was leaving four to six reps in reserve. The study had a number of notable limitations, but overall these findings are in line with the total literature.